beautiful conditions uh, once again here in Cascais. Uh, nice swell, swell definitely picked up from yesterday. Really epic conditions for the boat. Full on, giant swells, waves. Anytime you can be racing boats like this in a venue here against this level of group, just awesome. Really an exciting race. It's great to be here. It was a great day out yachting. We had a solid day until we got a, a DFL. <laughs> so otherwise we had a pretty solid day. I don't like to look at the standings until we're really we're finished. We just have to race every race as, as best as we can. Where we end up, we end up. Evenly spread now the points. Every boat's deep, all the way down to last place. Really difficult to find any slouches in this. Almost any boat here could potentially, I think, win this week. You know that one slip up and you're going to be right, right there in the back. We're only halfway, we've got 10 races, and I'd rather be the hunted because that means done better in the first half. It didn't feel like a great day. You know, you come in and you realize you made some mistakes, and you think, yeah, it probably didn't go that great. And then you look at the uh, scoreboard and you did second for the day. So I think it's just a testament to the level of the fleet. As tacticians, you want to keep doing the best we can every single race. And I think everybody's uh, pushing hard on the water and there's plenty of animosity out there. But when you come ashore, you're sitting in the sun and in a great venue, have a beer together. It's all good. These are all my friends, all of these guys. I'm just sailing against a bunch of old friends. We're still within striking distance of getting a good position. Just have to put our socks up and hang in there. See you tomorrow for race day number three.